pick them up. Hold on. Dave? Yeah, I can wear a wig and a skirt. That's actually a really good idea. Mixed doubles as a woman. Oh, four women. <laughs> Pickleball lovers, please leave your comments, please subscribe, and don't forget to have a good day. <laughs> Where should a woman dink during mixed doubles? Should the man hog the court? Should a woman counter or reset a speed up? All these questions remain unanswered until now. In our search to find the optimal mixed doubles woman's part. The first trait I want my mixed doubles partner to have is soft hands. Soft hands so we can dink a lot and not give them power to speed it up. This is me. I'm playing with one of my students. She's playing up. I'm in the white shirt. I'm really trying to keep them back. That's the first thing you want to do, boy or girl. This is the 5-0 division, right? What happens to lower level people when they play 5-0? Watch this shot Superman hits in the black shirt. It's not much, but it is extremely effective, and that's what I want my mix partner to do if they are playing with me. A lower level player will be able to play with a banger, but they can't handle those really tough shots because they need those soft hands. Again, Superman does the same thing, right? That beautiful third shot lofted spin drop that really kicks once he figured that shot out on us it was over that one shot is so effective in mixed doubles especially if there's a weaker player on the court the next trait i want my mixed doubles partner to have is be able to reset the ball at will i want her not to be scared if it's hit really hard because she has those soft hands and can reset the ball in the kitchen. This is Christina Bolton. She is the optimal woman's doubles partner in my opinion. Why do I say that? Because she can reset. Her attitude is so positive. She's willing to follow game plans and she's had significant success in 5-0. So resetting is so important for women, especially when they're playing men that are crushing it at them. Because if they counter that, they might be in trouble unless they're Simone or a real pro. The third trait I want my mixed doubles partner to have is to be able to dink middle a lot. Like dink middle a ton because this gets them to change direction in a dinking battle and dink middle is so underutilized. I've done a video on it. Most people don't realize that dinking middle gets people to change direction and gets your partner involved. Watch Christina on this point. Eric Gagnon is in the red. He's a senior pro. She does not want to get in this crazy dinking war angled out wide with Eric, so she changes it up. Notice the slow speed up she had down the middle. She proceeded to dink middle to get Heather to change direction, and if you're watching videotape, people that dink middle have a high pickleball IQ. They really do. If you watch videotape, when you dink middle, you get your opponents to change direction and you get your partner involved. So don't get caught on an island with a really good dinker, dink middle. The fourth trait I want my mixed doubles partner to have is a beautiful drop, preferably angled out wide to get them out of position. Don't hit it hard, more spin, have it sink. Women that hit this shot in mixed doubles have great results, they really do. I would advise to hit this drop to the weaker player. This isn't always the women, it really isn't. In one tournament, I went to the man every single time because the woman was better. Know your opponents and play to their weaknesses. So where am I going with this? I don't really care if my mixed doubles partner is really good at speeding the ball up because I feel that is my strong point. However, this isn't true in all circumstances, right? Some women can really hit the ball hard and you watch tournaments and they actually control the court. So these are my views. They're not anyone else's. I don't think anyone would steal my views. They're not the best. Pickleball lovers. Do you agree with these mixed doubles tips? Please leave comments, please subscribe, and don't forget, here at the Pickleball Pirates, we may love pickleball just as much as you do. I know it's tough to believe, but it's true. Hey mom, yeah, the segment went really good. Yeah, I just got my shirts from the Pickleball Pirate Shop. Yeah, it's this like super cool hat and a real nice shirt, and it really fits. Like my chest is like, you know, it goes out, but it fits my chest so good. Yeah, just go down to the store right there, order, you'll get it. Yeah, you support me and pickleball.